So a lot of people have been asking how we go about using the IDs generated from Social Lead Freak and how we use them to target our Facebook ads. And so in this video I'll be stepping through the process. So let's say that I'm targeting the dating niche. So in this case I've searched for dating and I've I found this group right here which has got around 1500 members and so I'll simply just extract um, this into a CSV file save it onto my desktop and just to show you what the file looks like when I open it I'll just quickly preview it for you and so here's the members.csv file and there you go so it's got an ID per, per line so one per line and there's a, around 1500 of them so now that we've got the file the next step is to go to the Facebook Ads Manager and you get to that um, by typing in facebook.com forward slash ads forward slash manage and that will take you to the Ads Manager over here and over on the left you can see that there's a few things you can do campaigns and ads so this is where you create ads and as you can see I don't have any ads at the moment uh, one thing I should uh, mention also is that you have to do this with the Chrome browser, um, especially the part where you have to open up the Power Editor. And this only works with uh, Chrome, so make sure you use Chrome when you are um, using this Power Editor. So here I am in the Power Editor and what we want to do is to create a custom audience which we can then target with our Facebook ads and to do that all you have to do is head over to the audiences um, selection and here on top you can create audience custom audience and you can then enter any name you want for the audience. In this case, I will say dating, description, dating. And this file is the CSV file that you exported out of Social Lead Freak. And make sure that for the type, you choose UIDs. And then you can click Create. So it says red 1500 and it says it's been uploaded. It may take up to one hour for it to be available for targeting. Okay. So you can see that it's currently in the status waiting and the size is not available. But you know, after it's processed the file, um, which might take as long as one hour, you should see that this size will be around 1,500 for my case because I have 1,500 um, UIDs in the file and that's really it for this step of creating your custom audience because the next step you want to do is to um, head back to the uh, Ads Manager and you then want to create an ad. So now let's go ahead and create an ad to target our custom audience. So I already have in mind a dating product to target my dating audience, which is this one over here. And I've got my affiliate link and I've already shortened it as well. 
So I'm simply going to paste in my bit.ly link. And then you can enter a headline. Attention. That's a very bad headline, but I'm just doing this for illustration purposes. And you can upload a picture. That's an example of mine. And for your audience, this is the important step. So you have to make sure that you come down to your custom audiences and click on the custom audience that you just created. In my case, I call it Dating Remember. So here I'm ticking Dating. And you can further target uh, or drill down. So for example, in this case, if I'm mainly targeting men, then I'll just choose men. Um, and you can even um, drill down further to the yeah, categories, interests, and other things. But I'll leave that for now. And for the optimization, it is actually best to select optimize for impressions. The reason being that for the type of targeting that we are doing, which is highly, highly targeted towards people in a specific group or events, impressions will result in high conversions. So it's actually better in this case to optimize for impressions. And then there's the recommended um, um, price that you pay per thousand views. Um, the suggested bid in this case is 20 cents or 34 cents. So you can choose how much you want to pay per thousand. So you just keep, you just, you know, having done all that, you can review your ad. And I have to specify something that I forgot to specify. Text. Don't go on a date until you see this. Something like this. And then review ad. So, you know, here's the ad preview, the name of the ad. This ad targets users who live in the United States are male and in the custom audience dating. And once you're happy, you can place your order and then your ad will take maybe around 24 hours to get approved. And then it will start appearing on um, the sidebars um, of all these users. So I hope this has given you a good idea of how you can um, you know generate leads from social lead, social lead freak, export those into a CSV file, upload to Facebook using the power editor, and then target those people with Facebook ads. So hope this has been a helpful video to all of you and thank you so much for watching.